I guess the question is, you know, you say that you have daddy issues and I know you have a podcast called Daddy Issues, but how have your daddy issues affected your relationships in the past? Is that a fair question? Mm-hmm. Have they? Yep. So um, definitely, so my, my dad, just to go a bit deep, my dad died when I was seven. Mm-hmm. And so then, no, don't worry. So I knew him for a little bit and then obviously an absence of him. And then I think what's happened in my relationships as a young adult is I was going for people who had some sort of resemblance in some bizarre way to my dad so be that wearing glasses or be that like um someone who maybe had a I mean genuinely I started fancying a guy because he had a low voice and carried a briefcase and I was like that's like my dad and we're I think, there yeah and I think it's and and also on top of that guys who because if I think especially the how daddy issues has obviously been thrown around has mm. been particularly at women who have you know sort of seem quite desperate and needy with guys and potentially undervalue themselves because of um that need to be loved and I think that's very much a real thing and oh, it's also no. for guys for guys as well but obviously comes out slightly potentially differently but um I definitely did that and I think I attracted guys who would give me the same story of being abandoned at the end because I think I was in a place where I I hadn't quite understood why this kept happening and I had to sort of confront essentially my daddy issues and that's a really layered complex amount of yeah. different things um to then be like oh okay this is why this keeps going wrong mm-hmm. like this is something that I keep doing it's not mm-hmm. like on them it's on me it's so interesting isn't it because like I am someone who certainly had and has a lot of daddy issues, even with my partner now. No, but seriously, I mean, like, I, and it's so interesting because I had a pretty good relation. I have a pretty good relationship with my dad, but I f- exclusively through my 20s had sex with men older than my father and mm-hmm. was seeking, I don't know, some sort of validation, some sort of like validation of my identity that maybe he never quite gave me. I don't know. God, I'm just talking. I'm just saying statements. I'm no, so no, this well, is I've so always interesting. Find, I've always I found wanna... that so fascinating and like, this whole, because this daddy thing really does, we do lean in. And there is a really funny side of it, you know, like, yes, Danny, and like, you know, the kind of um, pop culture side of it. But then, as Crystal said as well, like, the it can it can take on a more sexual term and it can take on, um, oh, I don't even know how to phrase it. I just always find it so fascinating why, like, where this whole, like, gay men and daddies thing came from, you know? I think as Ang Harrod said, about seeking masculinity is right. So whether it's like, whether it's in the way that you talk about Ang Harrod, it's sort of like, you know, tr- maybe trying to find your, you know, your lost father. That's such an intense mm-hmm. thing to say. Or yeah. for me, it was about like deifying and trying to sort of seek validation from a kind of masculinity. And daddy is associated with like a strong man or uh, a, in, in the sort of broader term, you know, the father figure, the person who's going to take care mm-hmm. of you. Thank you.